Hi, in this video we will set up the Centrify Apache SSO plugin and that's very simple. In the previous video we identified the version that we needed to download. Uh, in this case uh, it's for CentOS, so 64 bits. So I'm downloading this one. Um, you know, pretty much you know what we're doing here, we're running um, uh, version 2.2 of uh, Apache. So I've already copied the file locally. I'm gonna go ahead and PSCP it over to my uh, uh, to my machine, uh, and I'm gonna use just the Centrify tools because they give me Kerberos as well. So I don't have to d deal with much. So send three for the temp web, and notice that I got SSL. So pretty cool. Anyway. So I got the file here. All I need to do is, you know, the standard stuff. Uh, I, I need to unpack it. So, um, we'll do that. And that's basically going to expose two, two, two files that, you know, in, that are important. So it would be the RPM release notes and uh, Apache um, PDF guide. So all you need to do again is uh, an RPM install, RPM minus UVH or a yum install, whatever you guys uh, prefer, and it will be Centrify DC Apache. Notice that I'm elevating with Centrify Enhanced Studio because we're using our back. So once this is uh, uh, put in, uh, for you to see it in action, you basically have to have an application. So Centrify does a good job because they include a sample application. Uh, if you go to user, share, Centrify DC, uh, you will see that there's a um, there's a samples pay, uh, folder, and in there there's a sample application. Let me just go back to here. Is uh, go back one step. It would be uh, see the Apache, and there's a samples um, folder. In this folder, you have pretty much uh, basically a sample application. All you need to do is include, um, you know. Uh, uh, you know a simple line in your Apache configuration and the sample application will be running so let's take a look so if we go to um, to the conf uh, folder uh, in here you will have a list of files so they correspond to different versions of Apache so pretty much all you need to do is to include in this case because we are running 2.264 bit we're going to include that file into our Apache config file so I'm going to do a dz do vi etc uh, httpd in this case conf httpd.conf right and all I need to do is do that include I'm gonna go all the way to the end of the file and I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna add um, a line and I even have it pasted here so I don't I don't have to you know deal with much so I'm gonna do I'm gonna include the sample file configuration file for uh, the version 2264 bit that's all I need to do and if you inspect that file um, and, and it's called uh, Centrify um, 2264. Uh, basically, that what that file does. Um, it includes pretty much all the shared shared objects that need to be included, and pretty much includes um, all all the the sample application. So I'm gonna do a, a, a restart the Apache service. So that the mode is actually loaded, that uh, shared objects so DC do service. It will be HTTPD restart. So with that in mind, all, all we need to do is go back to our browser and um, notice that I tested before that is, is connected. So um, we go to the samples Victor, uh, virtual directory, directory and this is the samples application. So pretty much it, it has already been pre-configured for you to be able to to use different different types so I'm gonna attempt to do Kerberos here um, and let's take a look first at how, how it works on from a um, you know from a Kerberos perspective uh, I'm gonna go do do a K-list um, and I'm gonna purge so I have no tickets so I have no tickets so what happens when you do Kerberos authentication I already you know, I deleted my ticket granting ticket, but I have a session. So I, I request a service ticket and if everything is okay with my browser uh, and, and everything is okay with the service, uh, I should be able to get SSO. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and notice that it says, hey, you, I know who you are, you're Jerry Seinfeld. You've been authenticated with Kerberos and these are all the variables 
that you know we understand that we can use what that means to you is that any developer PHP or whatever you know application service that leverages Apache can actually access variables like what groups the user is a member of what is their email what is their home directory um, so this is pretty powerful stuff here um, you know we did Kerberos there and what happened from a Kerberos perspective uh, is right here if I do a here list now I have a couple of things I have my you know my ticket granting ticket but I also have this service HTTP uh, HTTP service ticket uh, for SEM3 so pretty simple and in the next video we will basically incorporate this uh, new uh, toy to um, you know a common um, PHP site okay